Happy New Year, welcome back to Diet Starts on Monday and welcome to 2018. With the January Blues in full swing, here are 10 reasons to love the first month of this year. It's starting to get brighter. The mornings aren't as pitch black as they once were and the evenings stretch out a little longer. You notice watery sunshine coming through the trees and can see flowers starting to bloom. It's still cold, but you know spring is just around the corner. It's a fresh start. So many people make fun of the new year, new me idea. I think it's great. 2018 is a blank page. Write the best story you can and have some fun along the way. Friends is on Netflix. On New Year's Day, Netflix gave us the best gift possible and made friends available in the UK. Now the jokes that went over my head as a child can make me laugh out loud whenever I want. January spells the end of the binge. After weeks of festive overindulgement, it's time to throw out the junk food and get back to goodness. Yes, it'll be hard and you'll miss cake, but your body will thank you for nourishment after stuffing it with chocolate and cheese. Get yourself a new cookbook or try a new recipe off Pinterest, anything that will pack as much nourishment into your body as you can. Getting back to exercise. I don't know about you, but as soon as December hits, I hibernate. I spent Christmas making a sizable dent in my sofa, so I'm loving being active again. You don't have to spend money or join a gym, just get outside and get moving. Nights in. Everyone has broken January, so take the opportunity to catch up properly with your loved ones. Swap nights out for nights in on the sofa with the people that really matter. You'll get a chance to talk properly and it will do more for your relationship than a night out ever could. Goal setting. Setting goals no matter how big or how small is so important for continuous personal growth. Use the month of January to plan out how you're going to make 2018 your best year yet. These goals can be anything from fitness, to learning a new language, to finding the courage to take a solo trip abroad. I have a few goals for 2018, one of which is running. I hate it, so I'm going to make myself do it until I love it. I'm not a natural runner, so it will not be easy, but I'm going to do my first 5k run in April. sales. January is the perfect time to treat yourself to something you've had your eye on for a while. There are discounts everywhere so treat yourself to something amazing. You deserve it. Social motivation. There is so much motivation and inspiration on my social media feeds this month and I am loving it. Everyone seems determined to smash 2018 to bits and I love seeing so much positivity everywhere. Especially my fellow bloggers, you're all doing amazing and you inspire me every day. New Year's resolutions. 
Loads of people don't make New Year's resolutions because they know that they won't keep them. I say be more positive and pick something that you'll definitely stick to. Pick something fun. I have three resolutions and not one of them is to do with diet or fitness. Resolution one. I'm gonna watch a new film every week. I'm known for not having watched any classics, so movies like Schindler's List and The Godfather are a complete mystery to me. So it's time I sat down and worked my way through the world's longest list of unseen classics. Resolution two, reading. I'm going to read a new book every month. I used to love to read, but as I've gotten older, I've put other things first. This year, you'll find me on the sofa with tea and a good book much more often. I don't care if it's fact or if it's fiction, just pass me the words. Resolution three, skincare. This year I'll be taking much better care of my skin. I traded myself to some new products and yes, they were in the January sales with the hope of brightening my complexion after a festive season full of booze and sugar. So there you go, that's 10 reasons to love the worst month of the year. So happy January, happy new year, and above all, have the happiest 2018. I think I'm going to get a peppermint tea because it'll be in a nice cute <laughs> teapot. <laughs> this awkward laugh. Come here! Okay, now he gets up from This is going to be so cheesy. Oh look, a mushroom! That looks so hell. Fuck hell. Go in, he's on a good You can just sit like, film me really close in my face.